Hi guys and welcome back to Lasting Peace. This is um, the third video that we're going to do to complement week five in our study Beyond Belief, Jesus Saved You, Now What? Um, so this is the conclusion of week five. We only have one week left to go. So if you're just now picking up with us, go ahead and finish it out and then grab your copy and start up um, with week one. And all of this will be on YouTube or you can access it through my blog or the My Daily Armor Facebook page. There's a lot of ways to, to do this and to, to follow along and learn and grow with us. Um, today, I really want to just focus on two, two fruits of the Spirit um, that I think just, they, they really resonate with me. And we are, through this study, going to actually look at all of them, all nine fruits of the Spirit, and, and analyze what they are so we can look for them in our lives. Um, but today I want to just focus on two, because I really, I just really appreciate these. And the first one, and everybody knows this because God is love, but is love. Um, um, Galatians 5 says the fruit of the Spirit is love. And um, remember how we had said that the Holy Spirit takes the place of the law in our lives as the means by which we govern ourselves and we learn to walk and do right things. It's not now anymore because of a list of to-dos, but we learn how we're supposed to live by the guidance of the Holy Spirit in our life. And there are two verses in Galatians 5 that I think just sum this up perfectly. And it's Galatians 5, 14 and 22. And 14 says, for the entire law is fulfilled in this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. And you drop down to 22 and he says the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. So if you can see there, if the entire law, that old law is summed up in love and the fruit of the spirit is love, then we no longer need to pay any regard to the law because the Holy Spirit will produce that within us. And then the last one I want to look at today is faith. And I think it's really interesting because we try so hard to conjure up faith. It's one of those things that we feel like we have to develop. And I'm actually in the middle of a circumstance right now where I have to wait a long time to see what God is going to do. And, and it's hard. And I keep thinking, God, I'm sorry that I don't have more faith. I'm sorry that I don't have more faith. But the disciples had it right in the Gospels when they said, Lord, increase our faith. Because Hebrews 12.2 um, says, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith. Or another translation says, the author and perfecter of our faith. And then that is also confirmed here in Galatians 5, when a fruit of the Spirit is faith and faithfulness. Um, we don't conjure this up. We don't create it in ourselves. We don't... Um, dig up faith. We don't grit our teeth and find it, and we don't make ourselves faithful people. All of this comes, every last bit of it comes from a surrender to the Holy Spirit and His work in our lives. Well, I feel like I just preached to myself today, so I hope you enjoyed that and um, are encouraged as much as I am. This life in the Lord is not work. It is a blessing. It is a passionate pursuit of the one good, our highest good, and I love how John Piper calls himself or um, the mission of their church is Christian hedonism because God is most glorified, which is what he deserves, when we are satisfied in him. Our happiness, our satisfaction, our peace, our joy comes from exactly what we were created to do, which is to bring him glory. And um, therefore, to bring him glory is not work. It is our joy. Um, I will see you next week and we will wrap up this study with week six. Thanks a lot. Bye.